My hair is very close to the projector. Okay, so when I got here, it was freezing cold. And I did that thing that people who are never cold really hate, which is when somebody who is always cold is like, it's so cold, it's so cold. Seems like, it'll get warm when everyone's here, okay? But it's one of those things, because my flat is like that. And I, I mean, I love engineers. My dad's a civil engineer. We're, buildings are a thing we talk about at home. But can't they figure out the heat situation? So when I turn off the heat, the room goes cold. And it's one of those things that helps me get out the door really quickly. Because I'm usually trying to do, on my way to get to do my PhD. And a PhD is always something you're trying to get to. You're always trying to get there or get away from it. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I'm doing this, I sing, I love dancing, swing dancing, I love tap, exactly what you think, pop and lock, precisely what you think. But that takes up a lot of time, because I'm always trying to get to talk to you about my PhD, which I will do. The thing is, you're also trying to get away from the PhD a lot. And I find, for example, this afternoon, I was packing up my bag. So my PhD I'll talk about in a second, but it's three main points. Innovative water governance in Medellin, Colombia. I'll explain Woo! what that means. <laughs> the thing is, I'm packing up my bag. You know, I'm putting my half lunch in there. I left my phone at home, so I didn't need to do that. Anyway, I'm about to close my laptop, and I get an email. Bing! One, two, three, four, five, six, dot, dot, dot. Men. <coughs> Men! And I'm like, I'm not finished. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so I see it's forwarded from my colleague. So I'm scrolling down. I think it's going to be some eye candy, like that photo you showed earlier. <laughs> and I scroll down, and it is such a killjoy. It's like career panel for engineers. So I'm thinking, do I respond? Do I respond? Because you know, with reply all, there's always that moment where you're like, do I do it? Do I not? Do I do it? Do I not? <laughs> Ping! Another email comes through. A colleague right in front of me writes, yeah, you know, if it was a women's panel, there would have been a huge poster about it in the hallway. We would have made it, I don't, why is it an American accent? It would have been a really huge poster. And, and so, you know, I just shut my laptop. I gotta go. It's in my bag, downstairs. I'm waiting by the lift, and because I'm on the third floor, you have to go down the stairs. It's whoever designed the building. It's just, it's a mess. And... <laughs> It's a Chadwick building on Gower Street, so yeah, go figure. And usually the topics on reply emails are around the heating in the building, the state of the loos, or something equally grim. So I'm at the, anyway, I'm back at the elevator, and I hear these two girls talking about this email. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we're gonna have some like political debate. And mind you, I'm, I'm a converted engineer. I did, ooh, humanities and economics as a double major in the United States, because you can do that. Anyway, I converted. So I'm thinking we're going to have like a political debate. There's going to be discussion. No, no, no. These two are like, can you believe she sent that? Oh my God, like why would she reply all? And they're going back and why? I mean, can you believe she did that? Can you believe it? And I just, I'm just, oh, you exhaust me. So I get, in the, I get in the lift down, I'm out. So the thing is, I'm always trying to get to, get, get to and get away from doing my PhD. Which is funny because I'm gonna go home to Christmas in New Jersey, Joyzy. And I spend every Christmas at 47 Devon Avenue, 08648 Lawrence Township. We do the zip code in the middle. <laughs> and so the thing is, every time I come home, it's usually once a year. It's a bit, you know, tight with the PhD. So when I go home, my relatives always ask me about, you know, what I've been up to. They're always thinking I'm going to bring someone home. They think something's going to be new. It's the same. <laughs> but the thing is, New Jersey is not what you think. I mean, it's kind of like the ex, 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 Essex? It's kind of like the Essex of New York. It's kind of there, kind of not. It's like 45 minutes in between New York and Philly. Everyone's a commuter. Some, some variation of an Italian-American, even me. You can laugh out loud, it's okay. I won't, I won't be, don't worry, I'm a mixed family, all the jokes, we've covered them. But my family is like an Italian-Irish family. There's 10 children. Uh, my grandmother had 10. My mom's one of them. And what is this? Robert, Bate, Joe, Dick, Goob, nicknames. 
Um, <laughs> Kathy, my mom, Rose, Agnes, Lainey. <laughs> Our photos are great because there's always like a lot of kids all the in-laws, you can tell, because they look really confused, like they want to go. <laughs> and then, the thing is, I usually, even growing up, now I'd, I'm in the market, so I'd like to bring home somebody home. But <laughs> when I was growing up, I didn't, because the thing is, two things happen. If you break up, your ex is still coming to Christmas. Because they're really, my grandmother like falls in love with you, they become the favorite in the family, it's crazy. Seriously. So they're there for life, even if you don't have kids. So I'm trying to get to my PhD. I'm always trying to get to my PhD. So anyway, I get there and usually there's a few dogs, there's cousins, and they ask you. So I have a couple of approaches. The first, when I was first starting my PhD, oh, there's three. The first, when I was first starting my PhD, was this, oh, we're not counting. But when I was first starting, see, I'm getting there. I would give this very millennial way of describing my doctorate. So it was like, you know, looking at access to water in developing countries, and we can scale up using innovative means. Yes, we said innovative twice. <laughs> Planning and finance, da, da, da. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, poor life choices. So then the second, the second approach was just to be really hip so you could talk to your cousins. Because now I'm in that age where like, you're not young enough to just not bring gifts and to like not, and sit at the, t the kids' table and just eat pizza. You have to like chill with everybody. You need to come with money when you have cousins. So they're always thinking, oh, Karina, yeah. So I just say, you know, innovative access to cash, to finance, to pay for water in places that maybe you want to go to. So my cousins are like, ah, oh, you know, boring, scrolling on Instagram. <laughs> Anyway, so the last way that I'm trying at the moment is using a game my family loves called Majority Rules. So Majority Rules is a bit like Trivial Pursuit. There's questions, answers, but the thing where it's different is that when the answer that wins is the answer that everyone votes on. So it's a bit like, you know, a referendum or presidency or something. <laughs> it's never the best choice. It's never. You ask the masses, but anyway, I can't, it's one of those things. So we play this game and my aunt loves getting people to bring in information beforehand. So we're all sending questions. One of the questions is like, who's grandma's favorite? My aunt's ex. <laughs> the, other, the other question was like, what do you think about when it's Baywatch? Which was like an American series about like lifeguards, really hot ones. Um, so people are like, you know, s bathing suits, men, sand. <laughs> Sand always wins. <laughs> so I was thinking about it for my PhD. So, you know, I just picked three words. Innovative. What was the first one I said before? Water governance. I think that was it. Yeah, water governance in Medellin, Colombia. So I wrote down some of like the buzzwords that came up with it. So for innovative, it was like millennial. So will you make money? And buzzword. <laughs> The other one was water governance, so water what? <laughs> water bottle, ocean. And the other one is Medellin. Who's been heard of Medellin? <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, it's like now the hotspot destination for North London liberals to travel. And so we just had narcos and drugs, which is not the image we want, but anyway, that's what becomes people's mind, majority rules. <laughs> Thing is, when you thread those together, they also had a referendum. <laughs> Sorry, when you, bad joke. When you thread those together, it's sort of, it goes millennial water bottle, so it's like Fiji, kind of misleading. So will you make money with an ocean of drugs? <laughs> Not the idea I wanted. And the last one was just buzzword, and we're just gonna leave it there. So the thing is, I just figured, you know, this isn't gonna work anymore because that actually doesn't convey what I wanna do. So anyway, in a nutshell, I've been trying to get to tell you about my PhD. In a nutshell, People need water, cities are growing really fast. A big problem is not technical. We figured out how to deliver water to the masses. It's usually political. So we need to figure out which places are doing this well and help and find out how we can scale that up. That's my doctorate. So see, I could totally go home, 47 Devon Avenue, you know, run a campaign, get my family to run every aspect of it, mobilize <laughs> New Jersey, which we all know what that's good for. And you know what, it would, it's, you know, all I just need to do is, Reply all to that stinking email. <laughs> Karina, cheers. <laughs>